Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so for today, uh, I want to share about uh, how we want to find the uh, crystallite size. Okay, using SRD bits. So as we know, uh, SRD ni uh, will be used untuk kita cari apa structure lah. One of them is the structure of our own uh, sample. So dalam kes saya adalah gelas lah. So saya punya adalah AG uh, NP nanoparticle dub gelas uh, deposition. So position in glass surface. So saya nak cari AG NP ni lah. AGNP punya crystallite size. Okay, so untuk yang ni kita akan pakai method di banyak method. Okay, uh, paper ni sangat bagus, sangat-sangat bagus untuk siapa yang nak analyze SRD. Uh, dia ada banyak method. Dia ada uh, device, Kara, Williamson, Hall, Helder, Wagner and size train plot. Okay, uh, tapi saya nak fokus untuk video kali ni adalah pada ini sahaja. Uh, okay. Crystal uh, device scatter method and Wilson method. Uh, so kita nak fokus kepada macam mana SRT pitch. Kita nak characterize by using the device scatter and Wilson can fit in lah uh, analysis Okay, peak analysis to be exact. Okay, so uh, first kali kita pergi kepada saya punya sampel. Okay, so saya pergi kepada sampel saya. <coughs> Kini okay, kita pergi terus. Okay so nampak ni saya punya apa saya punya uh, SRD peak eh SRD SRD spectra for my own sample dan ada beberapa peak lah. Actually sample saya gelas so ada berukham di sini tapi ada juga peak-peak uh, ni. So peak-peak uh, ni mungkin daripada silver sebab sil silver tu silver and piece dia deposit dalam atas glass surface so dia membentuk ada ni lah crystallite lah. So kalau saya tengok dalam ni Dalam paper ni Okay Okay now kita nak untuk ini class So saya dapat tahulah yang mana Peak saya ni saya jumpa tu ni 4 peak Dia ada peak dekat 38.2 44.5, 64.5 And 77.7 Semua ni sebab silver Plane of silver uh, Semua sebab silver tapi different plane lah ni one more the 38.2 adalah 111 uh, 200 will be 200 eh 200 plane is from the 44.5 and extra and the beberapa dia kita tunjuk okay for my own um ada juga sini kalau kita pergi pada sini kita locate the position this will be 38 you can see same this from what like um 111 i think plane 111 38.4 and then uh, 44 sorry 44.5 okay actually this is from 200 plane and okay another one okay 65 no i think 65 eh? this, no, i think it will be okay 64 i think 64.9 65 lah 64 64.9 okay so i think it will be sweet to this uh, 220 and we have another one 7.7.7 7. so you have the speed is from the AG cluster actually okay uh, this is from our observation so how we want to uh, analyze this peak so actually we have the method of uh, device scare method okay so device scare method uh, with this we uh, we can find the average crystallis average crystallite size maksudnya size uh, crystal light tu, average dia menggunakan peak broadening ni analysis. So, daripada peak tu kita kena cari first adalah dia punya FWHM. Second, kita kena cari dia punya theta. This is actually two theta sebenarnya. 
true theta sebab kita punya uh, gambar kita sebenarnya true theta tapi dia tersilap sikit kot. So true theta actually. Tadi saya dah calculate dia punya pun memang jawapannya sepatutnya true theta. So true theta. Okay, okay. Uh, so kita cuba try yang ni. First macam mana kita nak cari dia punya yang mana kalau tengok dalam dia punya sini average kita selesai jika ada k uh, wavelength, wavelength ni wavelength uh, SRD tu BD adalah dia punya FWHM cos theta theta adalah position x exposition for the peak Okay uh, Kalau kat sini exposition dia macam tu kalau si, uh, 1 1 sini lah 2 2 0 sini lah Okay So uh, okay as we can see uh, So kita selesai D and k 0.9 wavelength of uh, our radiation we have the value here so integral breadth ni adalah FWHM of the peak and deflection angle adalah x our x uh, exists here so uh, as I had been um, made it in Excel so you have k um, also wavelength FWHM 2 theta, this is the x axis, so we want to find the FWHM and also the 2 theta and crystal size. I make it as a uh, um, uh, equation in the Excel and the crystal, uh, in crystal effect we will go after this. Okay, this is crystal size first. So first you must to find the FWHM. Example, I want to find the FWHM for, the, for this peak. It's very high peak. So PL by tinggi ni. So kita, pertama kita kena tahu dia punya position dia. So position dia kita cuba cari iaitu 44.75 tapi kita cari kat sini pun boleh juga 44.55 lah better so uh, we make it like 44.55 as the two data <coughs> and then f m how can we find it very easy you go to the I think a KJ and then you go to the integrate KJ and then you go to the integrate so you can have this Okay, so you can have this fitted to this peak. Make sure dia ni kena pada peak ni sahaja. So you can get FWHM equal to 0 0.18651. So you put here 0 0.18651. We can get the crystal size. So it is 0 0.881 and M actually. Nanometer. Okay, because we put the wavelength as nanometer, so the crystal size will be a nanometer also. Okay, so this is the crystal size of, for our AG for I think 200 plane. Okay, I think this is 200 plane. Okay, and then how can we find the uh, defect crystal? Uh, so crystal defect, so crystal defect ni, uh, we can find by using the Stokes-Wilson relation. So B strain, B ni is like FWHM. Here is actually FWHM and divided by 4 tan uh, theta. So you just use this as FWHM and this as the x axis so you can see from my um, calculation you can see we use the FWHM and also the 2 theta so FWHM ke atas uh, theta ke bawah so you find it calculate you can find the crystal defect as this so this is the crystal defects so kalau nak tengok value dia uh, so kat sini uh, this EDS and Wilson method uh, ni strain dia tadi kita cari tapi ni in term of negative 3 tadi kita buat in term of negative 2 so kita just tukar lah nanti uh, dan crystal size in nanometer so that's how we use the divide this carrot and uh, Stokes Wilson method okay untuk find dia punya crystal defect eh sorry um, crystal size and also uh, crystal defect okay so itu sahaja thank you see you next time